Howdy folks, we're here continuing our series about the Pro Tour, playing decks that were, were in the Pro Tour that I thought were pretty interesting. We started with the winning deck, uh, the Rakdos midrange deck, and then we played uh, probably my favorite uh, powerful deck from the tournament, uh, the five color ramp deck that had Topiary Stomper, Invasion, and all of that nonsense um, to, to happen with Italian Atraxa. Those decks made the top eight. Now, this is a deck that did not make the top eight, uh, but it was made by Benjamin Stark. Um, he played it at the Pro Tour, and you know he's a respected Magic player. And I, I, I saw the list, and I was like, that's a really interesting idea. I wonder why he thought this would be the best deck to play at yeah, at the Pro Tour. And so that's what we're just we're just we're gonna try out to find out today. Basically, is is this deck really good? You know, a pro player evaluated all the options for the format and decided to bring this deck. And let's see if, uh, if if we can find the the juice that he was trying to find with the deck. So already um, interesting list. Uh, you know, it's a it's a, a Demir Toxic uh, list. It's got Billis uh, Billis Skull Dweller, Voidwing Hybrid, Eventer Corpse Puppet is your ways to really um, get Toxic through to your opponent. And then you also have Distorted Curiosity. So once they have those Toxic counters, those Poison counters, you can draw some cards. And the bring the ending so that way you can counter spells once they have the counters. And, and also the anoint with afflictions, you can exile uh, creatures for two mana, any creature, if it if they have three poison counters. You can also um, proliferate with the experimental augury or with Frasca. And Liliana of the Veil is a really good card, uh, just in general in standard. I think in, in this deck, you're just going to be sit, making your opponent sacrifice uh, creatures over and over and over again, run them out of cards, things of that nature. And then we have Chrome Host Seed Heart, Seed Shark, because if you notice, we have a lot of non-creature spells here, and I think um, that was sort of the synergy they were going for, just non-creature spells with Chrome Host, Seed Shark, and you have Proliferate on the uh, Incubate tokens that also can can grow them all, which is which is an interesting synergy, I think. Um, I, I do like that. So yeah, pretty cool deck list. I'm excited to see how it does in the ladder, so let's hop right into it. Alrighty, opponent's going first. Uh, keep this. Not not the perfect hand, certainly, but probably good enough to keep. The on Sleeper, Gnawing Vermin. Okay. Gnawing Vermin. Is a rat deck, maybe? Not sure how well they're equipped to beat rats. Honestly, probably just gonna try to counter... Counter something this next turn with a bring the ending. And try to resolve Liliana. That's fine. Don't want to. I want, I want to counter something on their turn. Use their mana. If not, we can use the experimental augury. But yeah, I'd really like to use our opponent's mana on their turn. Gotta just be a rat deck, right? Yeah. Okay. Counter this. Resolve our Liliana. Make them sacrifice this vermin. Sacrifices must be made. Now they have to play against this Liliana. No double black for our opponent, which they could be looking for. Alright, let's discard this hybrid. I do like that synergy with the Liliana. We all have things we So we can just get it back. Didn't cast this gnawing vermin. Which means they probably have some good instant speed, some sort of removal. I don't really want to play into it, so I'll pass. Don't want to leave this seed shark just right into the removal here. I want them to have to use it on the skull dweller if possible. Urtai. Sure. Gonna destroy the skull dweller or the Liliana? Okay, skull dweller. Sure. Let me draw a card. Pass. Didn't really consider Urtai to be what they had up there. That I guess makes sense though, if I'd really thought about it. But yeah, they're gonna be able to take the Liliana down. That's fine. Liliana down. Fine. I know when I'm We're gonna be able to get this hybrid back with this augury at least. 
Okay, they do have fifth land. Another invasion, sure. We have a seed shark probably to get rid of. Another Augury, Vraska. Really like to hit land, so I guess Augury. Lift right there. Get the Voidering Hybrid back. Be entering maintenance soon, okay. Cast this Vraska. Kill the Urtai. Pass the turn. Now we have lots of proliferates that we can have. And the opponent can't beat the resolved Vraska. That's big news for us. GG's. Alrighty, we're going first, and this is kind of an ugly hand, but uh we'll hope that the toxicity of these skull dwellers can help us get through this. Oh, sorry, point of your dress missed. And we drew a card that you could have to rest. I right, tap with everybody. And yeah, unfortunately for our opponent, we did draw this Liliana. Basically right on time. I'm tired of your secrets. And uh, Chandra Hope's Beacon, okay. Pretty good. Graveyard Trespasser, which is going to eat this Liliana minus. <laughs> Haven't you ever heard of personal space? Goes up to five toxic. Let's see if opponent just plays a sheltered. Yep, looks like they do. We'll draw. Exile the Sheldred. Make an incubate. Play the land, plus the Liliana, and that's just clinical Liliana work taking over the game. Opponent can't really stick resolve anything. Unfortunate uh, for the duress for them. That's unlucky to really to, to duress your opponent. They have nothing, and then for them to just draw two good spells off the top. Well, uh, unfortunate for them. Big for us and GG's. Alrighty, opponents. Going first. Bat of Rebirth. This is some sort of... Anvil deck, which is not what you like to see with your Villa Skull Dellers. Oh, they're just gonna kill it, though? Alright, guess we'll go round two. It has to be an Anvil deck for this Bat of Rebirth, no? Maybe it's a reanimator deck? I don't know. Did he on fire? Alright. Oh, it's Liliana. Enough with the mysteries. You won't be Get rid of a hybrid. I think I'll keep this back to block the Liliana. Opponent probably looking to play out their hands here. Yep, we'll block. Plus the Liliana. Let's card this curiosity, I think. We got rid of a harvester, that's fine. We have anoints, which I think we'll probably use here. We'll keep up the augury past the turn. There on earth. Scrap mutt is gonna be able to oh I have two scrap mutts, okay. They they are an anvil deck, sure. Let's proliferate here. <laughs> Take. So we're going to ultimate this Liliana. 
what's the best after we do that? Tekken Liliana? Certainly not bad. Rask is probably the best we can do. Okay. Our opponent, they know that we're going to ultimate. I was probably going to separate lands and permanents. And I don't know what our opponent was going to choose. It was going to give us some more time. Um, but yeah, ultimate Liliana there really, I think, probably was our only path. Cause our, <laughs> probably going to get nickel and diamond out of the game without only Kalanville. But already, GG's. All right, opponent's going first. Uh, it's not a great hand, but we'll keep it. Play that on turn one, so that way I can have turn two Void Wing if I want pain free. Rakdos Bank Buster. All right, hybrid it is. Get the Toxic going. Hopefully make our opponent use a removal spell on it. Fable, okay. Attack with the Void Wing. I don't want to use all my mana this turn, so I am going to use this Chromo Seed Shark. Opponent probably is going to have to now spend time removing it, or they're going to just decide their Goblin Shaman into it. We'll see. This card had a cut down and a Bank Buster. I could have cut down this hybrid. Doesn't seem to be what they were looking to do. All right, go for the throats of the shark. That makes sense. They're going to have enough mana for this bank buster to draw as well. Pretty good turn for them. This is one of the big... Sure, this is one of the big problems with this deck. Definitely taking the bring the ending here. Because I feel like... I just really don't have much recourse against these Rakdos decks. I feel like they just... You know, they just absolutely destroy you you really don't have much much for them i don't know they take the distorted curiosity though interesting Play the islands back my opponent yeah i just feel like our opponent just we, we just don't have any way to i don't know Opponent's cards are so much more powerful than ours, I guess, is what I'm trying to say. Like, here we can Experimental Augury to get them to three poison, and then we can counter anything they play. Um, but I don't think Harvester is what we need to counter. I think we're just, like, just too far behind at this point. Yep. Come on in. Okay, let's see what some Rumble to Augury. Could Liliana? Liliana's not great here. Honestly, Vraska is not even that good here. It does let us proliferate though. Makes it so they have to attack it. This will take Liliana. Or Veraska, I mean. Yep, give them an additional counter. This Augury again. They have a cut down for our hybrid. They definitely might. I guess our plan is to kill them through proliferating them. A okay, curiosity is just to draw. Is pretty nice. All right, flip right there. Attack with a hybrid. Okay, so they do get an extra poison. Question for us is, are we going to play this Veraska this turn and, like, minus on... Minus on the reflection, so they don't get to just blood tithe harvester us over and over. Kind of feel like I want to proliferate after they do that, though. I want to just distort curiosity, I think. See what we hit. Seed shark and another hybrid. Okay. 
cast another hybrid and also have this bring the ending up. That way, the next proliferate we have can return both of them to our hands. Floods away a swamp. That's fine. What's that? Five poison counters. We need to deliver them five more. Reflection and Harvester can copy a bunch of times. That's fine. Okay, they are going to copy the Harvester, it looks like. Sure. And they're just going to attack. Sure, that's, that's fine with me. Down to eight. That goes away. That's fine. Skull Dweller. Alright, first thing we're going to do is attack. Got to get them too close to be dead with the poison. There's six poison. I right, get the Skull Dweller down. Swamp and Seed Shark. Now, if they want to take any action, they should do it now before our Incubate starts going. Okay, they don't want to take any action, it looks like. And they're going to discard the blood, which is interesting because now that means they can't kill the Seed Shark, um, which is one copy here. Another harvester that gives it another blood. But I think we're gonna counter this. It's not not the perfect use of our counter. I don't think we got maximum value, but it does prevent them getting a second blood here. From and being able to kill our seed shark. Sheldred, okay. Yep. They can use this to kill my hybrid, I, I, would, I would guess. Or I could just attack. I think I'll just block the three damage here with the seed shark, and I want to keep the skull dweller around. Yep, trades with the Seed Shark, that's fine. Supposed to be our turn. Underground River. Yeah, I think we're just gonna come up short here. Attack with both. Draw here. Okay. Gain some life. That's fine. Oh, they get to block with the 1 1, though. That. Yeah, that's fair. Yeah, I think now I'm going to be out of a chance to win. They have a removal spell, too. I mean, it's just it's over. I think opponent's just thinking over their options. Put them down to seven. I guess I have to pay the full amount for Vraska. Because otherwise when I draw a card and lose a life, I'll be down too low. The reign of flesh is over. I mean, it did draw a one mana card, but definitely not enough for us here. 
Gold Dweller, they're at eight. And yeah, I think the blueprint was to try to get them to 10 poison, but couldn't quite do it there. Maybe I messed up along the way. It's a hard deck to pilot, but I'm certainly dead now. GG's. Alrighty, going first. That's where I like to see. And yeah, I'll keep this. I can vents around turn two. Hopefully we hit an untapped black on turn three for this Liliana. Soldier, okay. And recruitment officer. Sure thing. All right, Benzer. No way to proliferate right now, unfortunately. I do have the Valiant veteran, okay, that's unlucky for our current situation. We could Liliana minus. We could Skull Dweller and bring the ending. Suppose I like that more. Skull Dweller, bring the ending. Pass the turn. Attempt to counter whatever our opponent's next play is. Counter that. Either one to attack now. Definitely has death touch, so I'm we'll left to see if they want to trade there. They decide it's not worth it. Hmm. Could run back the same play again. I think I'll do. Back with a skull dweller. And they do want to block, interestingly enough. Okay. We can get to a point where this Liliana is minusing on creatures, we'll be very happy. Counter another Siege Veteran. Yep, it's fine with me. It's the benefit of being on the play, and that's something to proliferate with. Distractions. Minus target our opponents. Yeah. One of your friends has to leave. Attack with both. Give him a couple of toxic. And we have this Liliana. Who your opponent has? The Brulokathar or our Vencer? That would be pretty good. We have definitely a lot of good options. Sky Strike Officer, okay. The solid one. Attack with a Skull Dweller. And they're gonna block. Wow. Okay. Guess I'll go with the Seed Shark. Plus the Liliana, get rid of the Vraska, even though it could be I'm really tired. good down the line. I just don't know if we're going to have time for it. We're going to try to get spells out of our hands so this Liliana Plessing can do even more damage. Now if they just do Brutal Cathar, we're fine to minus the Liliana. Cash that in. We're in a tough spot here. Not the matchup we want to play, but being on the play certainly gives us an opportunity. And I don't think our opponent has exactly played optimally against what we have going on either. All right, let's see if we can hit a land here. We cannot hit a land. Okay, we can proliferate, I suppose. Nether Lillian is probably just better, though. Yep, proliferate like this. Give me a 3-3. Three, three minus here. 
attack with both. Pass the turn. I want to hit the fourth land. We give him the toxic, so now we have this anoint for any potential mural. Carbon, sure. Anoint. All right, let's kill this Harbin. Resolute reinforcements in response. Okay, not sure why you would show me that. Seems a little bit odd. But I guess I'm gonna plus discard my Liliana, keep the anoint. I got rid of a Brutal Cathar, that's fine with us. I think we'll pass here. Brutal Cathar. Good in some spots if they wanted it. Alright, Thalia. Well, that's certainly fine. And we're just still stuck on these lands. Liliana is probably not going up this turn, but yeah. Just templed them out with Liliana. Tough. Tough, though. I don't know. Feels like a game we just kind of stuck a Liliana and got to ride it to victory, and that's part of the power of playing in your deck. GG's. Okay. Uh, yeah, we'll keep this. Got some... Um, bells, <laughs> I guess. Oh, is this the mirror? A little dark slick shores on the other side. All right, no cut down, it seems like, over there. All right. Let's attack. Go for the throat. Okay. Pass the turn. Invasion of Amon Ket. All right, resolve this. Sort of the wire, I think. That's Augury. They had a sheltered in their yard. Got some lands. Wanna get a sheltered? Chandra's hope speak in. So this is a Grixis deck. So knowing it's a Grixis deck. What do we want? Another Seed Shark, maybe. Take another land. Mm, close ones, close ones. What do we want to take? Voiding Hybrid is also not bad, just to get on the battlefield, but... I think I'm going to go with land. Give that an additional counter. Um, now our decision to hit the land is looking worse with that top deck land, but we'll see. They have another removal spell for our Seed Shark. If we had to bring the ending to start the game, I'd feel pretty good about where we're at, but we did not have one of those. Big score, okay. What resolves that now, because I know we have counters in our deck. Alright, let's just draw now. Back our opponent. Pass the turn. They untap and Chandra us, it's probably game over. Let's see what they have here. This is a big turn for them. Do you have Chandra, and that's GG's. All right, opponent's going first. I'll keep this. Skira storefront. Okay. What? Planes, okay. This probably is just a mono white deck with Seraph Paragon in it, if I had to guess. Um, Using these to get lands back, planes specifically. Okay, already been proven wrong. And Bankbuster. Hybrid time. 
Okay, so they have access to white and black removal. Both pretty good removal colors. Classification specifically is good against hybrid. I think another reason you would play these storefronts is to make sure you have a lot of planes in your deck for things like restoration. All right, attack with everybody. Teed shark time. Crucially got that third. Wasn't counter on them, so they just untap them. Let's say Sarah Paragon here. And exile it. Yep, gets back their storefront, gains some life. Their land's gonna be tapped anyway, you might as well get a life when you do it. And you can get a swamp too. Archangel of Wrath for no value, okay. Alright, kill the Archangel. They're gonna corrupt this Bank Buster, I would imagine, but we're still just gonna attack with everybody. Yep, damage coming in, just like we suspected. So we can... It's curiosity next turn, probably, so I think I'm just gonna flip this end of turn. Well, how much help does this give us? Just a 2-2 at this point, they're gonna have a 3-4 blocker. I guess I'll curiosity now. Liliana for next turn. Certainly not bad. We can Liliana and fire up a 3-3. Three, three. And also Vraska. Okay, farmhand, that's that's fine. We're cool with that. Got another planes, yep. All right, Braska coming in, making a big incubate as well. Go ahead and kill this architect. Be broken. They're gonna crew, that's fine. They're gonna activate, that's also fine. I guess we'll keep the Seed Shark back and just attack with this hybrid. I think we'll attack with a Skull Dweller too. Yeah, we'll attack like this. Both these creatures are pretty valuable to get off the field. Yeah, this trade's fine with us. Update is available, okay. We can start proliferating with Avraska. We can um, start making our opponent sacrifice with the Liliana. Wedding announcement, that's fine. Yep, first thing we're gonna do. Yeah, record update is available. All right, I, I do see that, that it's going on. Okay. Roska, proliferate, all of these. Yep. I think we're fine to proliferate there. Activate this incubator. Back with both. And they do offer the block, that's fine with us. And that means we're going to Liliana. Get a card out of their hands. Happy to help. But and get a Void Wing Hybrid out of our hands. If they're just going to sack draw where they can, help them decide what they want to discard. 
Get this hybrid gone for us. And now, even if they fare well us, uh, name artifacts and get rid of their bank buster, but we have two planeswalkers, this one proliferating. In a tough spot here, certainly. We'll see how they attempt to wriggle out of this. Draw the bank buster is a good sign for us. Now they could have exile all creatures, but then we have lethal staring at them here. Ossification for a planeswalker for Roscoe, I would imagine. Oh, my 7-7. Seven, seven. Sure. Okay, you also have to have something of this hybrid, though, or you're just dead. Alright, gonna just proliferate. For 10 infect. Yep, those are all good targets, and GG's. Got the infect through on them. And yeah, that's kind of the matchup you're looking for if you're in this deck against these against these mono white style where you can kind of get under them with your value planeswalkers, counter some relevant spells, things like that. Yeah, that worked out for us. GG's at the wrap up. Alrighty, and we're back here with Ben Stark Pro Tour, Demir, Toxic, and I think this deck didn't really change much um, as far as it didn't really gain much as far as the new set. It didn't really change much as far as it's standing in the best of one metagame. I just don't think uh, you're just in an awkward spot. You you have a little bit of game against some of the uh, go over the top strategies because you have some counter spells and get under them with Liliana and things like that. Um, but you can get run over by Mono Red. Soldiers can be a tough uh, matchup, although we did beat it once. Um, stuff like that. I, I think. This is probably a better best of three deck, which obviously was the Pro Tour format. Um, that being said, I'm going to finally reveal to you Ben Stark, uh, how they did at the tournament, and they won one game. They won one game with this deck, which seems fitting for the power level of this deck compared to uh, what you have in the rest of the formats. I just think you, you're underpowered a lot of these powerful, or a lot, a lot of the great spots in the curve. Your opponent's casting Fable, you're casting Chrome Host, Seed, Shark. Um, just, I don't know, Harvester, and you're casting Voidwing, Hybrid, things like that. Make it pretty hard, I think, to keep up on power level rate. You're casting Roska, they're casting Invoke, Despair, or Chandra, or some of these other cards that are really good as well. Just tough there, and... Uh, yeah, Ben Stark did win only one game, but I thought maybe he was onto something and it could translate at least to the arena best of one ladder, but it seems like it didn't. I won, you know, maybe half my games toss up. You you're not gonna see some of the games I lost on like turn three. Mono red just blew me out. Like there's this some some things just aren't good, good for good viewing. Um, you know, I blew some people out in some weird ways too. Maybe I'll keep those in just to give you a little faith in the deck. I'm not sure. But yeah, in, in general, um this deck still where it's always been. Not um, not going to take advantage of the best of one metagame, but um, if you do want to play this deck, I actually do think the this particular build of the deck is pretty good. I really, I mean, I think leaning into the Seed Shark uh, gives you some more options with the Proliferate. I think that's pretty neat. Um, Liliana discarding the Hybrid, I think, has always been good, and then you have some op op uh, options to Proliferate there. Um, but yeah, I just, I don't know. Cards just don't do enough, I don't think. I think you would need, you know, proliferate tacked onto some of these other cards, like this distorted curiosity if it had proliferate on it, um, or this bring the ending if it also had proliferate on it. I just, I just think you would need the power level of these cards to be up significantly for this deck to have a chance. Unfortunately, that's not the case, and we're left with here a deck where I can't really recommend you play it on the ladder. But if you do play it on the ladder, I, I think I actually would go with this list. I think it's a pretty solid list. Uh, if you want to maximize whatever win rate you can with this style of deck. But already, enough of me yapping. Uh, as always, until next time, wherever you are, whenever you are, have a magical day.